Okay, good evening everyone. My name is Tuti and I welcome all of you to this webinar. Um, I think we should wait for a few more parents, few more people to join in. And meanwhile, others are joining in. I request all of you who are already here, go grab a sheet of paper and a pen. So we are going to do a very interesting activity. So, जो भी लोग यहाँ पे हैं जल्दी से जाइए एक शीट कोई भी ब्लैंक शीट ब्लैक नोटबुक एक पेंसिल या एक क्रेन या फिर एक पेन कुछ भी लिखने के लिए लेकर आइए लेट इज जस्ट वेट फॉर यू मोर पीपल वील वील जस्ट वेट फॉर अनदर फोर्टी फाइव सेकेंड Uh, meanwhile everybody go grab a sheet of paper and a pen all right so once again welcome everybody my name is tuti and i welcome you all to this webinar and today we are going to talk about a very very important thing which is about writing that how do we know or how do we understand what are those signs that will help us to tell that our child is ready to write uh, we as parents uh always look forward that when will my child start writing so we'll see when will your child start writing and how will the journey of writing will take place um so before i um uh, start the uh, the discussion about it i want to do an activity with all of you so on your screen you will see a sentence you will see something written on your screen and i want all of you to copy that right so can you see this so kuch 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 to likha hai kuch kuch chinese kuch kuch japanese kuch kuch to hai so i want you to copy both the sentences the so top one also and the bottom one also likhiye jo bhi likha hai likhiye and the people who have written actually have to tell me that when they were writing this how were you feeling jab aap ye likh rahe hain ya jab aap ye likh rahe the to aapko kaisa lag raha tha aap samajh ke likh rahe the or you were just copying it or how how are you feeling do you know what is written was writing fun okay let me see the chat now please type in your answers in the chat how were you feeling when you were writing this okay so here somebody is saying ki it was just like drawing all right then we have someone down there saying when i was writing i was just copying it like a symbol okay interesting i couldn't copy it properly because it was very difficult yes it looks very difficult um we don't know what is written so we were just mindlessly copying it without understanding yes exactly very important point mm. <laughs> so somebody has written my writing is so handwriting is so poor when i'm writing this all right because maybe it's something new for you okay now i want um, all of you to tell me while writing it in the chat and why were you feeling like that why were you when you were copying especially the first sentence why were you feeling like that you were copying it because this is a language that you okay so someone is answered that this is a language that is new that that you don't know all right the second sentence was comparatively easier to copy because it's more in english the alphabets are in english right so it was easier to copy very interesting 
so the the thing that you have felt while writing the first sentence exactly the same thing your child feels when the child does not know the language but is forced to write for him or for her writing becomes just a copying of certain symbols a drawing of certain symbols and if i continue doing that with you every day like if i give you two three sentences like this every day without teaching you this language or without even telling you what does this mean after a week you will get bored because there is no sense to it right the same thing happen with children when you keep on giving them something to write which they don't know the meaning of for example if i ask children to just copy a b c d from somewhere or i just write a b c d and ask them to just write a b c d without even understanding what a b c d means and why are we doing this for them the feeling is going to be the same as what you have felt um writing the first sentence so writing is a very complex uh, activity which is required to be done while knowing what you are doing and not just copying um so why writing hum hum likhte kyu hain you know you we have a phone these days we just uh, pick up a phone and dial our friends why writing so basically uh, writing is basically a, is a mode of communication so why writing you have to write to communicate you have to write to express and you have to write to share these are the three main things that the writing actually uh, is required for which is like to communicate newspapers uh mein likhte hain notebook mein likhte hain story time mein likhte hain you all make a shopping list even when you are typing a whatsapp you are actually using writing a language so writing is basically to express your thoughts to share what you are thinking to communicate the ideas okay why writing now let us see writing hoti kya hai what is writing so in this picture you can see some some drawings and some symbols mm. so writing basically is nothing but when different symbols come together to make some sense so writing is as old as maybe human existence um pehle a b c d nahi thi but because we know that writing is all about communication so can you see this drawing where uh, where there are paintings on the wall uh, so it's it's a uh, so people earlier used to paint used to draw to communicate their feelings so drawing actually is a first step of writing uh so they used to draw to communicate their feelings then they start making some symbols some marks uh some scribbles on the wall to communicate and it took ages thousands of years to actually develop what writing looks like right now and um who has made this writing humans have made the writing right so writing is a very man made thing so we say this is a because we say this is a this is a, a if someone says okay this is not a and this is z for a child it will become z right so writing is very different than maths where value of 2 is 2 right so writing is very man made it's about some structured symbols and drawings coming together to make sense so basically that's writing so now let us see how writing evolves writing kaise hoti hai so aap mein se bahut sare jo parents hain uh, jinhone join kiya hai they may be wondering that you know writing to pata nahi but my child scribbles a lot on walls on floor on a sheet of paper so whenever i give a sheet of paper to my child she picks up a crayon and she just scribbles scribbles not even drawing ऐसे वो एप्पल बनाना या ऑरेंज नहीं बनाता ही जस्ट क्रिबल्स लाइक दिस लाइक दिस लाइक दिस दैट इज दैट इट्स जस्ट दैट व्हाट माय चाइल्ड डज सो कांग्रेचुलेशंस टू ऑल ऑफ यू योर चाइल्ड इज एक्चुअली ऑन अ लेवल 
or a first stage of writing yes scribbles are the first stage of writing um that means the scribbles actually means that the child has understood that there is something that can be drawn on a paper or on a wall which looks like this which helps to express what i am thinking such a major thing such a major leap of understanding that aise kuch marks hote hain jo main soch rahi hu usko main aise marks bana ke express kar sakti hu bang on you know what actually writing means child has understood that so first stage of writing is actually scribbling random kidhar bhi kahin pe bhi pura page bhar dete hain bacche then slowly slowly you will see your children start um making shapes uh making round round circles some triangles then uh, as uh, they start learning alphabets they start uh, looking at the books they understand that the books or something is not written like this they make some shapes remember parents for children at this age alphabets are shapes they are just another shape as that line one that you were writing so children understand that you know there is some shapes when they come together this they are said something so when my teacher or when my parent write a shape of this and a this and this like cap the shape is a cap so the words are actually nothing but combination of some symbols and then slowly slowly they use drawings and alphabets together and then they start developing spellings um which may not be correct um usually vowels uh, take some time to come to get reflected in the writing um so for example for desk they may write d s k desk um so tomato for tomato they may write t m t o tomato right um because they have understood that these are the sounds that i can hear and i can write but slowly slowly their spellings develop and then they understand that when these spellings come together they make a sentence and then in the end you can see uh, as it shown in this picture they start um uh, forming simple sentences right um if i if i tell you the journey from first stage which is scribble to the stage which is shown like um a sentence is is not a month long or a two month long journey it's a journey that children take over years some children may take three years some may take four years some may take five years some may even take six years which is okay right because each child learns at its own pace um even when the children start writing the sentences uh, they may omit uh, vowels they may omit the capitals and smalls they may omit the full stops or a beginning of a sentence as capital don't worry it comes in grade 1 in grade 2 children more the children get uh, exposure to reading earlier children understand so your reading and writing goes hand in hand children who are read better so if your children are not reading right now they are still in a process of reading i request all of you attending here please start reading to your children at least 20 minutes every day more you read to your child more better the writing will be and if you see what's shown on the screen um in mind seed actually we follow this natural progression of writing how children learn and we ensure that the child masters every step uh, before the child moves on to the next step without pushing or slowing the pace of the children um so that's how we actually teach writing um writing at mind seed okay so till now um we have uh, learned about what was writing now let us see if your child is ready to write or not let us see uh five ways to know if your child is ready to write 
first one very important fine motor skills now this word is being used and overused so much i mean um teachers and principals and on internet on in videos everywhere um do you read or hear this word fine motor skill bachche ka fine motor skill acha hai bachche but what is fine motor skill what do you mean by fine motor skill uh so basically motor skill motor skill, skill means ability to use your language uh sorry ability to use your muscle okay uh now in motor skill there are two type of motor skill gross motor skill and fine motor skill gross motor skill means when basically you are jumping you are sitting you are running your large body muscles and fine motor skill is when you use your tiny small muscles like your fingers your finger tip your eyes in using this grip so fine motor skill so first thing that you have to understand is that if your child's eye hand coordination is developed or developing uh you can see in first picture usually children hold crayon like this so there there are very interesting activities like weaving and beading which actually helps children to develop this uh, eye hand coordination because when you write you need your eye to focus and hand to write eye hand coordination and it's not that if your child is in senior kg and can hold the pencil well you don't need it you will always need it more the children practice this eye hand coordination better their writing becomes um so all that problems that usually happen in grade 1 where they have to write a lot mera haat dukh raha hai mera shoulder dukh raha hai doesn't happen when children practice a lot of eye hand coordination and when their fine motor skills are really well developed now let us see the second one the second is grip can you see the grip uh, in the picture i'm sure you can identify the way your child is holding a crayon or a color in one of these the children start holding it like this and they hold like this and they only hold like this and eventually it comes like this now if a child is holding a crayon like this we as parents usually say are ye galat pakda hai and we open the child's fist and we make them hold like this then we put our hand and we make them write which means your child naturally right now is not ready to hold the pencil or a crayon like this you are forcing your child you are going against what child level or development stage is so children slowly with the eye hand coordination activities start developing this grip you don't have to hold your child's hand make this grip आप अगर जबरदस्ती उनका ये हाथ ऐसे करोगे तो वो शायद आपके डर से या फिर रटने के चक्कर में ऐसे पकड़ लें बट देर मसलट मीन नॉट स्टिल डेवलप सो देर हैंड विल बिकम टायर्ड वेरी वेरी इजिली एंड देर विल स्टार्ट हेटिंग टू राइट राइटिंग मतलब नहीं करना सो लेट योर चाइल्ड ग्रिप डेवलप एज द चाइल्ड इज डेवलपिंग एट द चाइल्ड स्पेस what you as parents can do or educators can do to give lot of opportunities for children to practice fine motor skills um the third one third is ability to use both the hands now you re remember when you were copying the sentence you were holding a paper with one hand or you are keeping your hand on the paper and you were writing so when you are writing you actually use both the hands you never just write like this and maybe your one hand is just out of you you don't do that right um so children at the beginning use only one hand aapne aksar dekha hoga ki they just hold the crayon and then they just hold it to it like this right they use one hand only but for writing you need both the hands so your children should start using gradually both um the hands uh interesting activities that you can do with your children to encourage this is giving them activities like pouring water from one cup to another uh 
holding the tray and walking or you know hanging the clothes clipping so where they get exposure of using both their hands next very important part is using upper body strength um you must have seen children lying down on the floor and writing just sitting in any direction and writing so when you are writing you need to sit your posture has to be correct you need to sit and your upper body has to be straight when you are writing so when you are writing your shoulder to your finger all the muscles are actually in use right so so lot of children when they don't develop the upper body strength or are still developing and we force them to write the shoulder starts hurting they will say ah oh, mujhe nahi karna you know mujhe yahan pe dard ho raha hai and you we feel bars the moment we tell them to write their hands start hurting yes it's very much possible why because their upper body strength is still developing um so there are a lot of activities which we used to do uh, uh, in school to uh, to develop this upper body strength but now as we all are in uh, in our homes there are a lot of activities that you can do for children to develop their upper body strength which is like um as them to drag chair or cart or something children love to big bus big uh, big bazaar or somewhere they love to drag the cart it's a very good exercise actually let them to take their shopping cart you can play them tug of war at home with them as them to lift their books some little heavy weight and keep the books in place um the way we used to do keep your toys away actually is a very good exercise of upper body strength which we used to do uh in school after every session and we are also doing it in the online session but that's something that actually when children pick up the stuff and keeping it in the place upper body strength um next is when your child start making marks on the paper or on the wall um this actually tells you that your child has understood the meaning of writing the child knows that the marks that i am making is meaningful is sharing uh, my or expressing my uh, my thoughts through it the child knows that when when you write something something and you say something it means kuch to hai there's something meaningful going on there so um making marks on the paper next very important thing is tools for writing tools tools for writing kya hote hain paper pencil crayon um uh, but lot of you parents um, have asked us that why do we give pencils so late in mind seed uh, or you know why you don't give pencils to a play group or a nursery child uh, it's not it's not about the grade it's about when the child is ready so it's not about that pg mein dena hi nahi hai aur kg mein dena hi hai it's about when your child is ready um so we always start and you should always start uh by giving your little ones jumbo crayon or a block crayon big crayons why because children grip is like this so pencil will fall off in this grip the thin crayon will fall off with this grip grip so a big thick crayon so that they can have a nice grip and please use wax crayon and not the plastic crayon why wax crayon because the color comes out very beautifully on paper using the wax crayon plastic crayon is very um very light you know it's just all the shades are very light and it's just very plastic feeling so give the wax crayon um to your children so that when they are when with it because the shade changes according to the pressure that they are putting and they can see that that if i'm doing it lightly how the red color is and i'm doing it like this with all my pressure the red color changes to a darker red right um so so give a jumbo or a block crayon uh, to start with then when your child you can see your child is starting holding like this or holding like this start with a normal crayon the normal crayon the small normal crayon that you get in the market again wax only with the same reason when you know that your child is able to hold 
ट्राईपॉड ग्रिप जिसको हम बोलते हैं ठीक से पेंसिल वाली जो ग्रिप होती है वो आ गई है नॉर्मल क्रेन से देन यू मूव टू पेंसिल कलर एंड नॉट पेंसिल वाई वाई बिकॉज वेन यू यूज अ पेंसिल कलर इट एक्चुअली टेल्स अ चाइल्ड हाउ मच प्रेशर टू पुट सो इफ अ चाइल्ड इज नॉट पुटिंग इनफ प्रेशर ऑन अ पेंसिल कलर इट विल शो अप वेरी लाइट एंड चाइल्ड विल नॉट बी एबल टू रीड If a child puts a lot of pressure on pencil color because the lead the pen, pencil color's lead is very soft it will break so it will keep on breaking keep on breaking so this pencil color is an excellent idea to teach children how much pressure to put when you are writing with the pencil लॉट ऑफ टाइम इट है पेंसिल कलर छोड़ के या क्रेन छोड़ के जब सीधी पेंसिल बच्चों को पकड़ाते हो तो उनको प्रेशर का आइडिया नहीं होता तो या तो बच्चे बहुत डार्क डार्क लिखते हैं और उनके पेजेस फट जाते हैं या फिर वो इतनी लाइट लिखते हैं कि आपको नजर नहीं आता एंड इन अ पेंसिल यू आर नॉट एबल टू जज हाउ मच प्रेशर टू पुट सो दैट्स व्हाई देयर इज अ जर्नी फ्रॉम जंबो क्रेन टू नॉर्मल क्रेन टू पेंसिल कलर इवन इन दिस पेंसिल कलर शुड नॉट बी द बिग वन द गोल्फ साइज द स्मॉल पेंसिल कलर सो बिकॉज द बिग वन आर हैवी so this area of there get may get uh, pain so a small golf size pencil color and when you know that by using a pencil color you can see a similar kind of writing in the sense not very light not very dark just right you introduce pencil to your children so parents don't be in a hurry to introduce pencil to your children even if you introduce when they are not ready it is going to impact them in a long term ye jo grade 1 mein aake kg mein aake haath dukhna writing nahi karna grip theek se nahi hona this is all happen when we don't follow this natural path of writing and using the tools for writing correctly all right so ye to hua if our children are ready to write or not Now let us find out if you are ready to help your child learn writing or not. So again, I have a quiz for you. I will show you a situation, and you have to tell me what will you do. So, for example, you told your you told a story to your child and asked the child to draw a fish. Okay, and this is what child um, brought to you: a sheet full of scribbles. what will you say type in your answers quickly in the chat box and let me know what will you say isme to fish hai hi nahi story to fish ki sunai thi and i don't know what my child has drawn what will you say Okay, somebody is saying that I will draw a fish and show it to my child. All right. Then somebody is saying that I will appreciate my child. Okay. I will ask my child that where is the fish. Okay. Okay. I will tell my child that fish. There are no green color fish. Okay. All right. Okay, so I think I have seen a green color fish in a Discovery Channel. So you know, it's the child's imagination. Whether the child is making a black fish or a red or a green doesn't matter. So the right response is encourage your child first. The first thing that you as a parent has to say is very good. That's a beautiful drawing, or that's a good job that you have done, and ask your child. to explain what the child has drawn instead of you telling the child ye to aise nahi hai ye to galat hai ya ye to aise nahi banaya ye to aise banega maybe your child is thinking something else something that you can't even think as a, as a, as a grown up as an adult so always ask your child to express what the child has drawn you will be surprised to know that your child will be telling you okay this is a mouth of the fish this is gills this is skin this is scales um this is fin uh, uh 
these are like the school of fish swimming together in a big sea. That's what writing is all about, isn't it? To express. So congratulations, your child has actually have started writing. Um, now let me give you another situation. So after a long discussion with your child, your, you have asked your child to write some words. And your child has written some words and have come back to you showing this. Okay, what do we do as an adult? Hmm, kya kare? Ye kafi bari spelling mistake sa isme to? Or line me bhi nahi likha? Hmm, what do we do? Write in your answers? Write in your answers? Okay, somebody saying she, she will underline and correct the spelling. All right, we will show how to write in three line notebook and give a three line notebook, four line notebook. Okay, <clears throat> we'll appreciate the child for his, what the child has done. Okay, all right. So I think parents and educators, if your children have begun to write like this, I think it's a very big, very, very big leap in their writing skills because they have understood how the sounds of different alphabets um, come together to form a word. They know how to join different words to make a meaningful sentence. I mean, what a big leap for the child. So, um, in this case, congratulate your child, uh, encourage your child, ask your child to read it for you and pick up one or two spellings instead of correcting or saying it to galat hai, appreciate the child and pick up one or two spelling, make a small check like this, together write the correct spelling, together put it on a word wall. So I want all the parents to make a word wall in their house where you can uh, add at least three to four words every week. Um, by that, child also understand what the correct spelling is. More words the child see, better the child learn because he's seeing it again and again. Next time when the child has to uh, write the same word, he knows where to refer. So when he has to write dear and if the the dear word is there on the word wall, child will just go and see, okay, this is dear. And that's how they, they will start learning the spellings also. But do not correct the whole word of a child with a red pen. Appreciate, pick up one or two words and add it on a word wall to refer. Okay, now I'm going to show you the writing journey um, of our children at MindSeed. So can you see the scribbles? First, very important stage of writing. Uh, the scribble means a lot to the child and lot means lot to us uh, in the school, to all our teachers and to us, uh, because that's the first step the child has taken. Then you can see the child has now started making uh, some words um, on his own. The spelling of inside, can you see it's all capital. Fine, children will understand how to write caps in small. Uh, if you see the word computer, the T is small, but the E is caps, fine, let it be, they, they get it. And in the last, if you see in the picture, um, the child has actually attempt to write a, a story and have drawn it also. Like one time me and my sister built a snowman and my dad helped a bit. So this is, wow, children have understood phonetically how to make words and they come together and write. Don't worry, capital, small, full stop, all of this come together. Do not force all of this to your child. More important is to child to enjoy the process of writing. And uh, parents, writing is a difficult and complex skill give your child enough time at this age to develop that. Um, 
with this thing, I end this webinar. If you have any questions, if you have any feedback, or if you want to um, know the webinars, you know more about certain topic through our webinars, do, do write uh, it in your comments. Um, thank you very much for your time. Have a lovely weekend ahead.